Okay, here we have the hind limb of a horse dissected out to show the stay apparatus. Okay, this also shows very well the reciprocal apparatus. So the reciprocal apparatus is this fibrous band within the superficial digital flexor muscle that attaches here on the tuber calcanei before the tendon continues on distally. Also, we have the peroneus tertius, which is just a fibrous band in the horse, which is attaching up here in the extensor fossa and then down onto the tarsus and metatarsus. Okay, so what this does is make it so that in order to flex the hock, we have to first flex the stifle. Likewise, to extend the hock, we have to extend the stifle. Okay, so this also allows the horse to have these joints moving in unison so that muscles that are acting to flex the stifle are also working on the hock for flexion and those extend also to extend. Also, those muscles that are extending the hock are also indirectly extending the stifle and so forth. Okay, so we are having more muscles doing the same action, so we have a summation of velocities to allow the horse to go faster. Okay, this is also part of the stay apparatus, as I said. So if we take the patella here, and we've got an enlarged medial trochlear ridge, if we lock it up over that, the horse has to ex purposely extend its stifle to be able to do that. And we lock it into place. And then the vastus medialis muscle over here needs to hold that in tension to keep it in place. So that is why you will see them only lock one side at a time. And then as that muscle becomes fatigued, they'll shift to the other side. Now as we put weight on the limb, we see that because this is locked in extension, this too is locked in extension. Okay. Now also the tension on this superficial digital flexor tendon primarily, as well as the suspensory ligament, are going to help maintain the fetlock so we don't get overextension of the fetlock. Okay. Now sometimes horses, especially young, might have a locking patella as they walk, where it incidentally locks up there when they don't want it to. Okay. Often if you exercise the animal so that these muscles tighten up, then it may resolve itself. But if not, what they will do is they will cut this medial patellar ligament and just cut it longitudinally like this so that we get inflammation. Inflammation will then tighten things down so that the horse will have to purposely bring that up to lock it rather than have it happen incidentally.